What is up guys? It's Monday. Here's body weight track. So we're going to be posting the warm up in a separate link at the top of each day's program, just like we've done in the past couple weeks. So let's dive into our strength. You're going to be completing eight rounds. This will be split into two separate four round cycles. You'll do four rounds uh, with the 20 on 10 off interval. You'll take a two minute break and then you'll do four more rounds. All right, so let's dive into this. We're gonna do 20 seconds of max effort with perfect quality, narrow grip push-ups. When we say narrow grip push-ups, I want your fingers to be about six inches apart, elbows hugging against the body, all right? So we're gonna be in that good push-up position. And elbows are in, pushing up, one, pushing up, two. Quality over quantity, uh, this is about how narrow I am in my push-up position as I go. Modifying by elevating on a bench or box, uh, close grip, or modifying from the knees if needed, all right? If you get two to three great push-ups, that is better than getting five, six, 10, 15, okay? Half-ass push-ups, do them right, focus on good quality. So we have 10 second break, and then you're gonna go into a side plank. So we're gonna go right from that push-up position. You'll take a very short break, and now we're transitioning. Elbow's gonna line up underneath the shoulder. And now from here, I'm stacking myself up. My goal is to have my butt squeeze, my abs tight, my chest open, and I'm holding here for that 20 second time frame. Okay? 10 second break, back to narrow push-ups. 10 second break, and then back to plank, but now on the opposite side, all right? So you would go through until you've done four sets of push-ups and four plank positions, all right? The plank position here would be um, alternating between right, left, right, left, cool? So focus on your quality, guys, and if you need to, all right, <clears throat> make sure you use the modifications to hit those quality reps. Let's take a look at your workout. All right, so today's workout, this is listed as a partner workout. If you do have the luxury of working out with someone, it's gonna be two minutes for partner one, directly into two minutes for partner two. You'll alternate back and forth with two minute work cycles, always picking up where your partner leaves off, all right? If you're doing this solo, you're gonna do two minutes on, two minutes off, and you'll always pick up where you leave off uh, on that previous two minute work cycle. So each two minute interval is an AMRAP of what we'll call 20 short skaters. So the short skaters, we do different types of these skater jumps. The short skaters are about speed and not so much, not so much about max explosive power. So I'm gonna be in that athletic position, softly bent knees, I'm ready to go. And all I'm gonna do is chip one, two, three, four, five, six. This leg is staying off the ground. That inside leg is staying off the ground as I shift in that athletic position from leg to leg. Okay? I'm always staying low. I'm always in that athletic position as I move quickly side to side. 10 grasshoppers. 10 grasshoppers takes you into the push-up position. All right. And I'm going to be going from that position. I'm stepping out and driving my shin to the opposite forearm, one, shin to forearm, two, shin to forearm, three. In order to get there, I've got to drive my hips down and forward, all right? It's not like a mountain climber where all I'm doing is leaving my hips where they are and bringing my knees. I'm bringing my hips down and forward in order to reach that range of motion, okay? So for the grasshoppers, two equals one. What that means is you've got to get right and left to get your 10 repetitions. Meaning you think, that you, if you want to think about it this way, you just do 20. So it's going to be like this. One, two, three. All right. These are tough. Okay. Fight through them. Work on correct form. All right. We got five box jump overs. All right. Or object jump overs, I should say. This is your explosive portion of the workout. We keep the reps super low here because I want you to challenge yourself on being explosive. So you're gonna grab something around your house, all right? It depends on your jumping ability. It doesn't matter what it is, all right? So if I'm using this bench here, this would be a good obstacle for me. So I'm gonna work on being explosive. 
I'm gonna jump up and over. I'm gonna work on landing softly and athletically. I'm gonna turn back around. I'm gonna do just five of those, all right? I want you to challenge yourself with something that's tough to jump over, but you can clearly land softly and athletically every single time, all right? So, hope you guys enjoy the workout, all right? Speed on the skaters, uh, work on driving those hips down and forward on the grasshoppers, and then let's see some height with some athletic landings on those jump overs. Guys, have a good day. See ya.